Garter, can you tell about the experience about playing here after the 2000 and, you know, one attacks and, yeah. you know, what it meant to... It was, it was hard. In the beginning it was hard. Um, after that happened, you, um, you come in and you see the city and see all the faces around and the expression of uh, people who, who went through that situation was hard. Uh, the main time, is, it was so so something that, that really coming out of you, uh, inside of you, because you want to help somehow, and 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 that's why we try to do all our, all the best to to try to make the people don't think about. It. Was it, it's not easy, but yeah, try to you know something else to uh, to help them out. And so, you know, having to, you know, look back on that time, I mean, this the game had just a tremendous impact and you guys coming back really brought great, you know, spirit back to the city. Mm -hmm. um, what was that transition like? You know, you spoke a little bit about it, but just being able to get back. And what did you do to kind of prep yourself to play the game? Because I'm sure for a lot of guys, their minds were a little bit elsewhere well, before they step on the field. After, I mean, you know, we don't know if we're going to play again. Uh, that, was, that was the main thing. Uh, you, I'm t to the, the president, I say the life got to continue, you know. And then, you know, when we walk to the to the club, to the clubhouse and, and and see all the uniform with the patch and all the hat with different type of, uh, of you know the fire department, yeah. the police department, and then you realize, hey, we have to do this. We have to play for the fans, for the people, for the people who lost all those loved ones. And then that's why we did. That's how we did. I mean, the spirit was there, and the, the you know the, the the adrenaline was there, and we really um, uh, come through and. and, and you see all this fan that give you great support to baseball, especially for the Mets and Yankees. Uh, that was something else. Now, what about your involvement with you know the Mets Alumni Association and City and being here representing you know the team, but also helping you know promote goodwill for the you know for the team? How do you feel about being an ambassador at this point? Be good. I mean, it's something that they always you have to. Have, I always appreciate uh, the Mets for for having me, for having me. Uh, involved in these activities to my uh, to my people uh, because I would say my people because they are my the fans who really support me during my career here in New York and then uh, one way to pay by them uh, is to doing this is I, I feel happy to you know be part of uh, of the organization and, and tell them what I'm what I'm doing right, right now. Now. So, now you know speaking about what you're doing right now I read you know you played winter ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Venezuela, were a few teams interested in your services this off season? I had read a little bit about that. Uh, I, you know, I was uh, in the beginning was a few teams, but um, you know, they uh, like I said, they had to uh, see me play and, and see if I was able to play still. But uh, like I said, I really enjoy playing baseball, and, and that's why I play winter ball this year and uh, having a good time over there. And then you know, uh, so far so good. I've been training and get ready for 